Paraphrasing the text. Explanation. One of the parents, the father or mother, sees Amanda biting her nails. The parent tells Amanda not to bite her nails. She is also asked not to bend her shoulders and to sit up straight. The parent nags Amanda for sitting lazily with her shoulders bent into a stoop. But Amanda is lost in her own dreams. She imagines herself to be a mermaid drifting joyfully with the soft waves of the green sea. She imagines that she is the sole inhabitant of the beautiful sea and there is no one to nag or disturb her. Paraphrasing the text Explanation the parent asks Amanda if she has finished her homework. She is asked if she has tidied her room. She had been asked to clean her shoes also. The parent asks her if she has done that. But Amanda is lost in her own thoughts. She imagines herself to be an orphan with no parents to nag her. She feels happy in being an orphan. She imagines that she is roaming in the street with bare feet. She is making soft patterns as she puts her feet gently in the dust. There is all silence about her and no one to nag her. For the little girl, this silence is golden and this freedom is so sweet. Paraphrasing the text Explanation The parent sees Amanda eating a chocolate and tells her not to eat it. The parent says that Amanda must not have forgotten the acne that she had got previously. However, Amanda is lost in her own dreams and doesn't look up to the parent. At this, the parent feels irritated. He says that Amanda should at least look at him when he is speaking to her. But Amanda remains lost in her dreams. She imagines herself to be golden-haired Rapunzel who lives in a castle and had no care. Amanda imagines that life for Rapunzel must have been very peaceful and wonderful in the castle. However, she says that she won't let down her bright hair the way Rapunzel had done. All the troubles of Rapunzel, as we know, had started because of her doing so. Paraphrasing the text Explanation The parent keeps talking to Amanda about the various do's and don'ts but Amanda remains lost in her own dreams. The parent thinks that Amanda is not responding because she is angry. He feels annoyed and asks Amanda to stop sulking at once. He says that it has become a habit with Amanda to remain irritated always. On seeing her, one would say that the parent has nagged at her and that is why Amanda is looking gloomy. The parent doesn't want Amanda to give others such an impression.